this is today's video, day 12 of RPG a day. Uh, RPG with a well supported, uh, well supported campaigns. So uh, it's not going to be a surprise. Pathfinder, first edition. Uh, I will say first edition because uh, most adventure path or, or campaign or module uh, for first edition are more iconic, are more exciting to me and my and my gaming buddies. It's like a consensus. We find that uh, campaigns for first edition were more iconic, more heroic compared to the um, try to, 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 to express my, my words precisely. Spock, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, the newest campaigns have been, uh, let's say, multicolored, uh, anime inspired with lots of whimsy and compared to the first edition campaigns, they're kind of harder to take seriously, let's say. There are some cool ideas, but yeah, too much color, uh, too much uh, happiness and, and whimsy. First edition, we're more about classic heroics, fighting bad guys and repel demons. Uh, so yeah, our, uh, uh, Paizo is known for his campaigns for a reason. Before they became a RPG publisher, they were a magazine publisher. And essentially they, their task was to support Dungeons and & Dragon and, and to publish uh, the Dragon and the Dungeon magazine. And they became specialists and expert at writing adventures. And uh, I remember a research that uh, Steve Jackson Games did a long time ago about what type of products were selling more in the RPG hobby. And usually it was uh, in the shape of a pyramid. Of course, they are Steve Jackson. <laughs> They have a thing for pyramids. And uh, the core books were the products that, that was selling the most, at least for the GURPS game system. Then you had in second place the source book for uh, setting or genre or uh, gear. And then at the very, very, very bottom, you had the adventures. And for GURPS, that made sense, of course. You can, it's very hard to write adventures for GURPS since it's a toolbox and people can build their own games practically. So if we return back to the uh, D&D uh, side of this question, I would, sus I would suspect that it's the same that for D&D the most sold products are the core rule books and after that maybe the most popular setting bo book or adventures. But adventures themselves, module scenarios are, are kind of the last player and Paizo became very good at writing adventures during the uh, magazine era. So when they closed off, or, or, or rather, they, they, or rather, when Wizards of the Coast pulled the plug on them, they became sufficient, self-sufficient by creating this this brand, uh, by still supporting 3.5 in in a certain way, and they kept doing what they were good at, writing adventures. 
And for someone who, uh, who is used to run their their stuff and others, other publishers' uh, adventure as well, I can say that the first edition campaigns they produce are top notch, top notch, and um, it's something I cannot think otherwise for other publisher they're really well supported campaigns <clears throat> they came with maps and and and, and campaign specifics uh, pawns you can buy in bulk and, and, and you can you have everything to run this campaign uh, they came with players guides players guides are generally uh, in fact they are always free so you you can download them and share them with your players so they can read what the campaign will be about and maybe choose a little something related with what will happen in the story in a matter of feats or uh, campaign traits or special special spells or magic item so their campaign are well supported and it's easy to it's easy to find other people who had that, that experience as well. If you want to have uh, an insider view of uh, this campaign, for example, Rise of the Rune Lords, you will find, find online thousands of people who have run this uh, to completion and you, you, can, you can chat with them or, or exchange with them on, 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 on community forums and you can ask questions and have your answers right away so it's as well supported by the company as well as the fans and um, so I can't only speak for this game in particular I know that the Dungeons and Dragons as well are well supported but I don't remember for example if I take the most popular ones um, Ravenloft, The Curse of Strahd, very popular um, d and source book. Uh, does it come with maps? Does it come with a player's guide? Does it come with specifically um, uh, designed uh, monster pawns? Uh, does it come with an uh, overview of the world? There are, there are, I feel that it's kind of supported, but not as well as this right here. We still, it's not in print anymore, but you can still find stuff and you can still find the player's guide. You can still find the pawns on the cheek. Uh, you can still find uh, these as a PDF form if you don't have the, 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 the uh, 10th anniversary book. And this is, <laughs> it, it's just occurred to me that you don't, you don't get a book like this, a 10 anniversary edition, if the campaign is not well regarded and, and, and correspond to this, uh, to this question. So this is, will be my answer for today. Thank you for watching.